So welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and an update on some of the painting projects I've got uh, largely finished. Some of these are, uh, still need a little bit of work. Um, so first up, um, so I've been really, really good. I'm, I'm going to caveat my ass here. Um, I have been really, really good after the mass impulse purchases for Black Seas of which I'm still waiting for some to be delivered. Um, yeah, I know, too many. Um, I kind of decided I'm going to get rid of some of the backlog of figures and work through some of the older figures I've got that I've just never got around to painting or other projects that I haven't quite got around to doing, etc, etc. And, um, and indeed I have been. I, I, I'll show you some in a bit that uh, uh, you know I've had for a while, some of which I've had for an awful long time. Um, but... I'm just a terrible impulse shopper. I have no um, willpower at all. So um, I was watching uh, one of the Facebook pages I'm on um, showed these beautiful figures. Uh, these are Crusader Hearthguard with great weapons by a company called uh, Stronghold Terrain, Germany. Um, at least I think they're their figures. They may, unless they're, you know. No, I think they're theirs. And I just thought, oh my god, that's such a lovely figure. I've got to have them. Um, and so I just, I was actually reasonably good. I only bought this one pack, uh, plus a couple of officers I'll show you in a minute. Um, just because I thought they were such damn good figures. And one of the things I, I know I have coming at some point fairly soon is um, the guy from Footsaw Miniatures, Andy, uh, I forget his name, um, did a Kickstarter recently. I featured it on um, uh, on my Facebook page um, of Baron War figures, and um, they look so beautiful. Uh, and knowing how good uh, the Footsaw range is generally, Andy is responsible for a lot of them. I thought oh, I've got to get those, so um, I bought through uh, Kickstarter and probably receiving it fairly soon um, a whole range of his uh, Baron War figures, and so it sort of is scratching an itch around the sort of medieval period. Um, um, that Kickstarter I say is Baron Wars, um, and I just thought these figures here could possibly fit into that kind of i'm trying to justify it right yeah i know i'm trying to listen but they are such beautiful figures i mean just look at the modeling on these it's just awesome um even with my average paint job that is well average to reasonable i'll give myself that just a beautiful figure really lovely um metal which i also like so these will form part of that formation that I'm building uh, when the figures come through, when the rest of them come in. I mean, just just the animation, the you know, it's like the like the little figure, like little real people coming alive. Um, again, use the Luke's APS basing material. A lot of the paint job on this was done with contrast paint. Um, again, big into the contrast paint. In fact, uh, for the scale for the um, male shirts i even used it there so I, I spray painted the base figures with a sort of very very pale uh gray and then used uh this one basilicum gray uh over the top and then with a little light um little light um uh, what's it brush dry brush that's the fella um gave that effect and, I, and then a wash over the top and Bob's your auntie I think they've come out really nicely now what I will do and I, I need to I'm going to Warfare uh, this Sunday um, and I'm going to pick up some um, shield transfers uh, for these and some of the other figures I've got um, because I, I need some I'm not I'm not freestyle transfer man I can't do it I'm just not good enough at it so I'm going to try and get some nice um, transfers to go on these figures. I mean, this this guy has a, a shield that was already sort of easy for me to just to paint up as a, as a cross. Um, but, you know, this thing, I just did a very simple half-tone shield. Um, I'd like to add some 
on heraldry to it, that one's just a boring green shield. So I'm going to work on those. So um, that's on my shopping list for Warfare. So these were the other two figures that I bought um, from um, Stronghold Terrain Germany. This is, um, well, the cavalryman is Raymond of Toulouse, apparently. Um, no, hang on, he's not. He's a Norman warlord. Crusader Norman warlord, apparently. Um, yeah, that's what it says on the bottom, So because I stuck the label on it. And I really, really liked him. Um, I just thought his animation, he looks evil. Um, again, I need a transfer for his shield, um, which I'll do la later. And you can see, I, I again, thanks to Seventh Son, um, he recommended using contrast paints on the horses, and that's what I've done. Um, and I think it's come out really nicely with contrast paint with a bit of wash simple and easy to do um so that's that fella this guy is um what do i say raymond of toulouse um as a figure again i really liked the figure the animation not sure this not sure health and safety would like him holding on to the sword that way around but hey um again i want to get some transfers so i can put something on his uh tunic probably and also on his uh shield uh, but really pleased with how those two figures have come out. And again, they'll form part of that uh, soon to be determined, some point to be determined, um, Crusader stroke medieval list that I'm going to work on. Don't even have a rule set, but hey, why does that stop you? So I just mentioned the uh, Footsaw, well, Andy Holborn, or whatever his name is, um, Kickstarter uh, project for Baron Wars. These are two of the figures. Um, so Footsaw, as you, if you know, if you buy from Footsaw, um, every month they do a freebie giveaway. If you buy a certain amount of figures, I think it's usually £30 worth of order, they throw in a figure. Um, and I think I got these through that. Now, these actually are in the Kickstarter range um, as part of, the, uh, part of the options. So I knew what the figures are going to look like um, because these are such nice figures that, uh, you know, I, I just knew that they, the actual Kickstarter was going to be great. So um, these are two more figures from the pile. Um, because I'd painted up the, the Great Swordsman, I thought I'll paint these up too. So worked on these over the last few days. Uh, in fact, I think I only varnished them this morning. Um, really pleased with how they've come out again. Um, and, you know, need to get some transfers, as I say, for shields and touch the shields up. But that's fine. That can be done. Um, there's the guy. One of the lords again i think I could, if i can get some sort of transfer to put on his uh, chest um that will be that will finish him off nicely and i'll be really pleased with him so medieval project underway so talking about the figure mountain um these are some halflings that i don't even remember where i got them from um they were an impulse impulse buy <laughs> yeah i know terrible um i so the rationale for these and there's always a rationale for my impulse buys um i am i bought into the atlantis miniatures kickstarter um for their woodland elves that just was so gorgeous i just had to get them um and at the time i was thinking i was heavily into saga ancient ba uh, age of magics and I thought, right, I can use the Wood Elves as a, um, uh, I can't even remember, it was the Woodland uh, faction um, in Saga. But they also have um, some, they're, they're sort of, their skirmish troops in that army are javelin armed troops. And none of the, the Atlantis miniatures range had any javelins with them. And I thought, you know what? Elves and dwarves. Elves and, um, elves and um, halflings. Um, they go together and I think I saw these figures and I thought they look really fun nice and animated good fun I think they're a um, halfling militia unit and I thought you know what they can be my levy unit for the saga halfling ar um, elf army but I can't remember where I got them that's why there's 13 of them because there's 12 men in a levy unit um, so I think the pack must have just put me over the numbers but they're they're really fun and and, and nice to paint up I enjoyed doing them a um, couple of repeat poses which is slightly annoying but you know it is what it is they're just going to be skirmish troops if I do use them for that I may just yet decide to flog them 
because I think they're nice nice figures but I don't really do much fantasy um, really just the Saga Age of Magic is my sole thing but um, they've come out pretty well and I'm quite happy with them so again more from the backlog um, so these are a group of eight slingers um, sort of barbarian they're probably ancient Brits or something um, I don't know where they're from they're metal figures um, I remember these were in a box. I bought a big box of all sorts of uh, stuff at um, the Valhalla um, Wargaming show in uh, Aldershot last year, which my club runs. Um, there was a bring and buy, and there was a big box of stuff which contained a whole load of um, American Civil War figures. Um, there were quite a number of ancients in there, some ancient Brits and so forth. Um, and some uh, English Civil War figures and I, I wanted it for the American Civil War and the English Civil War figures again future projects and it was dirt cheap really cheap but within there was a number of individual little figures um, some of which will just go in the bin uh, or have gone in the bin um, but some of which I've just painted up just to see what happens um, these are some of them these eight slingers were in the pack uh, in the box um, so don't know what manufacturer they are maybe somebody will know but uh, they were in a bit of a state so I basically tried to um, uh, well I, I resprayed them uh, and just tightened them up put a heavy wash on them and I think they're, they're okay so it's just good to get some of those figures out that you just see kicking around you think I must do something I must do something with them um, so I'm going to sell these ones um, because I just don't need any more slingers but you know project done pleased so talking of um unsure of where they came from figures um these two models were in the pack they're obviously some kind of uh, fantasy ghoul um they were plastic i have no idea what the range is um but uh, they were in the box as well with all the other goodies so um i just thought sod it i'll paint them up um and i'm quite pleased how they've come out as well um see here no idea what they are but they're they're nice ghouly kind of figures um so just the two of them i don't know what system they're for i don't know what the uh rule set is these this guy's a sort of goblin-y because you can see his pointy ears uh they've got bolts and things through them so i i don't know what they are but um i'll probably put them up on ebay no idea how much to put them I'll probably just put them on for a couple of quid if somebody wants them fabulous then he took me a little while to paint up uh and it's just something to get out of the, the the plastic pile in this case similarly these two figures again were in the box um obviously this guy's a, a some sort of viking berserker um i've got more than i ever need of those so he'll be going up on ebay uh, a couple of quid probably this guy needs some help anybody who's still watching what this guy is what is he any idea it's obviously some kind of shaman um it's an old plastic figure i i've no idea who he is or what what he what he represents um i painted him up tarted him up because he was sort of painted but uh I basically just worked through it and updated it and did a you know refresh on the paint um and he's come out okay i'll probably just say just put him up on ebay for a couple of quid and see what comes of it so um but i'm intrigued to know what what it is so uh any thoughts gratefully received so so there you go there's my update on my latest painting projects uh, done pretty well this week i think um worked through quite a few figures most of them are fairly simple paint jobs to be absolutely honest um the halflings i started last week and they've just taken a bit longer to finish off um but uh, everything else was done basically in the week so um that's pretty good i'm quite pleased with that um and it gets rid of some of that backlog and also gives me some excitement for the upcoming medieval project whatever that may be uh, when that comes through so um hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so really appreciate all the new subscribers i've had over the last few weeks uh, i suspect that's something to do with black seas um video went up yesterday on black seas hope you enjoyed it um i think um i'm going to try and paint up the remaining um black sea ships i've got um i've got a couple of three frigates and a couple of uh, third rates to finish off 
um, so I'm going to get them done and um, who knows we might get another game down the club fairly soon I hope so because uh, I really enjoy the system but um, thanks for watching thanks for subscribing enjoy your games have fun try not to take it all too seriously and I will see you again soon this is Dom signing out mm -hmm.